this is Dean Rogers for the Rogers Review. We are here at the West Lawn of the U.S. Capitol for the 33rd annual National Memorial Day concert. And here with me are the two hosts who are synonymous with this concert, Gary Sinise and Joe Mantegna. Welcome to the interview, gentlemen. And thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Well, it's been three years since we saw each other here on the West Lawn. How does it feel to be back live with a live audience and live performances? Uh, it's, it's great to be back here at the Capitol. Um, I think they did a terrific job scrambling for 2020 when we you know, were faced with the pandemic and, and they put a great show together that year. Last year was uh, really good, but uh, there's nothing that compares to being on the West Lawn of the Capitol with, with all our pals here doing this concert. It's Absolutely. an important day, Memorial Day, Memorial Weekend, important to remember. Indeed. And you, Joe? Well, exactly. Just what Gary said. I mean, the first year we had to, we wound up doing it actually at, at the Gary Sinise Foundation offices. We kind of got to scramble without together. We put together a pretty good show. And then the next year we had a little more time. And I thought, you know, sometimes necessity is the mother of invention. I think we picked up some little tricks that, you know, might even help, you know, future concerts and what we did. But as Gary said, there's nothing duplicates standing on that stage and looking up and seeing that Capitol building with the flag flying. That's the way to celebrate Memorial Day. Absolutely, indeed. And it's also the first time that we are not without General Colin Powell, who has been with the National Memorial Day concert since 1991. And I don't want to know from the both of you, what was your fondest memory of working with him this concert? I'm going to start with you, Joe. You know, what's funny is my fondest memory is something that was very kind of personal and kind of off the off off book in a way. I mean, because he was always so tremendous in everything he did, mm -hmm. such a tremendous patriot, such a tremendous general, such a tremendous human being. Is a tremendous American, but my, 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 one of my favorite memories is when after the rehearsal, like a day like today, he took me back off the back of the stage and wanted to show me this 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 Dodge Charger car that that he that <laughs> they did let him use. He says, "Yeah, I think this is the kind of one I use in the Dukes of Hazard." He says he was showing me all this stuff on it because he was somewhat of a car buff, and so to see that side of of the general, you know, that not everybody gets to see, was was a real treat and something I'll always remember. Absolutely, and you, Gary? Yeah, he was a he was a warm, funny, uh, down to earth uh, individual. Obviously, a tremendous leader for our country, <clears throat> and he he'll be missed. I mean, he was such a dynamic and strong, and important presence for so many many years. Um, I I I cherish uh, that I got to spend that time with him. Uh, he was here, 2005 when I started, 2002 for Joe and. And he'd, he'd been here way before that, I mean, yes. doing this concert. So it'll be a little, you know, little little hole here without uh, General Powell. But uh, we have a great tribute uh, to him, uh, to honor him for, for all that he gave to the concert and for all he gave to the country. Absolutely. And speaking of tributes, you both are going to contribute to some tributes, tribute to tributes during the concert. And Gary, talk about the tribute you're going to be doing tomorrow night. Uh, to General Powell? Uh, no, the um, it's the Medal of Honor. Ah, yes. Uh, well, the Medal of Honor um, uh, Society. Uh, we have about 66, 67 living recipients. Uh, we're blessed that we have uh, five of them that are going to be uh, featured uh, in the concert uh, tomorrow. Uh, they represent uh, over 3,500 who have uh, worn the medal since uh, the Civil War, uh, and we get to highlight five special individuals tomorrow night. Uh, and they represent, of course, all the Medal of Honor recipients, all the living recipients, and all those they wear the medal for, which are those that uh, they served with and who didn't come home. So they will be the first one to tell you that the medal isn't theirs, it's somebody else's, and they wear it for them. Absolutely. And Joe, you'll be contributing to the Gold Star families, and you'll be partnering up with Gene Smart. I want you to tell everyone about that. Well, Gene and I will be... Uh in a way, honoring the family of uh, uh, the Graham family, so Ge yes. Major General uh, Mark Graham and his wife Carol, mm -hmm. and what they have gone through. You know, there's that whole thing of you know some some everyone gives some and some gave all and whatever. You know, there's all these kinds of phrases that can go along with, with service, but they, this is a family that had gone, had gone well above and beyond, and so it's 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 to tell their personal story 
of, their, their, of themselves and their two sons and, and the result of it showing that it's not, all often, it's not always just wartime that, that can create tragedy. Sometimes it's also the, the kind of mental anguish and, and mental suffering that many of our, our servicemen and women go through. So it's, it's an incredible poignant story. And if I, like I've been doing this concert 21 years and it's, it's, I think it's certainly without question one of the most powerful kind of stories that I've ever done and been part of. Absolutely has. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for taking out your time and look forward to this concert, which is tomorrow night, 8 p.m., local PBS station. Don't forget to check it out. Reporting from the West Lawn of the U.S. Capitol, this is Dean Rogers for the Rogers Review.